Hi, welcome back to the workshop um, for the latest instalment of the Thinline Telecaster build. Um, in this instalment, I'm going to take this very square looking neck and carve it into something more suitable. And as you can probably see, um, I've already done a bit of laying out on this neck, so I've, I've sketched in how I want my headstock transition to look. Um, I've also roughed out the heel transition. I've marked the centre line and I've also marked on the positions of the first and the twelfth frets. Okay. So the next job I'm going to do on the back of the neck is I'm going to mark in two lines that run parallel to the edge of the neck and halfway between the edge of the neck and the centre line that I've marked. And I'll do that on both sides. And then on the two edges of the neck, I'm going to mark a line halfway between the fretboard and the back. So that's those marked in, they don't have to be, you know, 100% accurate. They're just there as a visual guide for when we start roughing out the shape of the neck. But we'll, we'll get to that bit in a little while. So with that marking out established, the next step is to take the two little templates that I've made previously. Um, I've actually made these using some templates that I've downloaded off the internet. Um, and as you can see probably on there it says it's for a modern v-shaped neck so what's going to happen next is i'm going to carve away at the first and the 12th fret until my templates fit once i've done that i'm then going to take the the saw rasp um, which is an absolutely brilliant tool for doing this kind of work um, and i'll start working away these areas that i've marked out once i've introduced those facets We'll then remark the neck, halving those areas again, and work it down again with the rasp, and continuing to do that until we've got something approximating the curve on the neck that we want. Okay, so the first thing to do is set this up in the vise so that we can work on the first fret. Okay, so to set this up, uh, it's quite straightforward really. Uh, put it in the vise and then place a little block of wood underneath it to stop it moving down. And that's going to hold it quite firmly for what I need. Then it's just a matter of cutting away with the saw rasp, periodically checking with the template until we've got it where we need it. Now these templates also come with the thickness that you need for the neck at these points. So I'll also be checking that with the calipers as we go along. Right, let's get cutting. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of rasping away there, um, I've got this almost there. It's a little bit too fat still. Um, we need, still need to take a little bit off, but I'm going to kind of leave that thickness on for now until we're a little bit closer and we've got the bulk of the material removed. So now, I'm just going to do the same trick at the 12th fret.
Okay, so that's my first and twelfth rep roughed in. So now it's just a case of taking out these bits of material here to create my first facet. taking the saw rasp to it. Established the line at the top. So I've taken the corner off and then I've worked back to that line at the top. And then using that as a guide, I'm now going to work my blade down until I meet up with the line along the edge. Okay, and with that done, I'm going to eyeball this, but I'm going to halve that again. I'm going to halve that one. I'm going to halve that one. I'm going to take it out of the vice and do that. Process. So I'm going to take out this waste. I'm going to take out that waste. Now for this shaping I'm using the rough side of the rasp and it is really rough. Um, the reason I'm doing it that way is the rough of the cut the more likely you are to keep things straight and that's really really important in this context. Okay, for those down we just carry on repeating that process but this time I've got three facets to work off. So 
So now I've got that to that stage, which is kind of getting there. I'm going to flip it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I'll be back with you in a few minutes once that's done. Okay, so I've worked this down now on both sides and we've got a carve kind of roughed in. Um, but you'll notice that I'm still quite thick along the spine of the neck. Um, I prefer to do it this way. It just means that when we're kind of taking it down to thickness, you're working off less material. So it just makes it a bit easier to keep accurate. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just work this down until it's at the same level as the bits that we worked out with the templates. And then it's just a case of blending in to get the radius we want. Okay, so that's got the, the neck kind of roughed in now. Um, it's still a bit lumpy and faceted, but it's, it's close enough for what I need for this point. It can be quite difficult to get them properly finished off whilst we've got these harsh transitions still in place. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just work these down a little bit and we can start blending them in properly. Okay, so that's got the heel and headstock transitions roughed in, um, but they still do need a little bit of work to get them where they need to be. So it's just a case now of kind of finessing those with files, rasps, chisels, sandpaper, whatever it takes, just to get them how we want them. Okay, so that's pretty much done now to kind of rough sanding level. Um, there might be a couple of little bits and pieces that I need to just tweak further as I go through the sanding process, but for now, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, in the end, I don't think it's, it's kind of too chunky, um, but it's got a nice feel to it now. I'm quite happy with the, with the way it sits in your hand, so that's all good. Um, 
So now it's just a case of kind of working through the grits and getting it to its final shape. So I'll crack on. Okay, so there we have it. That's my process for carving a neck. Um, I would say in total that's taken me about two and a half hours. Um, but I'm very happy with the results. Um, feels really nice in the hand. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, it's obviously going to need a little bit more sanding um, to get it ready for finish. But in terms of the shaping portion of this process, um, that's done now. Hope you found that useful. Um, if there's any parts of the process I haven't probably explained or you didn't fully understand, just drop me a comment below. Um, I'm happy to explain it further. Um, I'll be back very soon to get the frets on this neck, leveled, crowned, polished, etc. Um, and then we're looking to get some finish on this neck. So this element of the build is coming along very, very nicely. Um, we still need to polish the body and get that finished off, but hopefully that won't take too much longer. So we're really getting towards the end of this build. Um, I'm already planning the next build. I've already got most of the bits in stock ready to go on that. Um, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag just yet, but to make sure you don't miss out on any of the upcoming episodes, uh, make sure you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that little bell icon, um, and I'll look forward to seeing you very, very soon on the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.